okay, up in here. This, this is good. This is fun. This is a special little moment here uh, that, that sort of is what your Bluegrass Heritage Foundation is all about. We didn't plan this, and this has all come together in about the last hour here, which is, uh, if you haven't noticed, that's sort of the way we do things around here in Bluegrass World. Uh, a lot of stuff happens on the fly. But many of you know about our signature pro a charitable program, which is the Play It Forward Instrument Lending Program for Kids. Well, what we try to do is that if there's any young person that would like to learn how to play an instrument that, that doesn't have access to an instrument, not necessarily because of need or anything else, but they don't have access to an instrument, we want to get an instrument into their hands. And that's where your donations, and, and you're donating for t-shirts and buying raffle tickets and all that sort of thing, that's where all this money goes. So, here's the story. Many of you have heard or been to our Burleson, Texas event. So, it happened last weekend. Well, one year ago, last weekend, uh, I had a request, and we had a young person his dad said, uh, we've got a young man, he's played a little bit in the band, but he is just, he really thinks it would be cool to play the banjo. He's never played the banjo, and so we want him to try. So we said, great. So at Burleson one year ago, uh, little Riley Gilbreth came out, and he was 13 then, I guess, 12 or 13. He came out and we loaned him a banjo. This year, he traded that banjo back, got himself a better banjo, and I would like you to give a round of applause and let him play one tune. This is Little Riley Gilbert, but there's more to the story, but let's hear him play a little bit of banjo. Riley? Questions? Any questions? That's what your Play It Forward program does. So, with Riley making such wonderful progress, and he plays better instruments, and we all know, as all of us musicians know, a better and more expensive instrument is better, and it makes you play better. We all know that. I don't know how many of you are afflicted with that disease, but I certainly am. And so, he got to playing a Huber banjo, a Huber workhorse banjo. Well, it just happens that our foundation has a long relationship with the Huber Banjo Company, and you saw Mr. He Steve Huber out here earlier today uh, playing banjo for you with Texas and Tennessee. So we got to talking over there, and uh, I'd like to ask Riley's parents to come out here, Danny and Janet Gilbreth, to come out along with Mr. Steve Huber. And we have uh, made a little arrangement here. And Steve has a uh, brand new workhorse banjo, so the foundation and Riley's parents and the Huber Banjo Company are going... <laughs> Steve just instructed him to take that Recording King banjo off. We're going to get little Riley a new Huber workhorse banjo right here with the money that you've contributed to the Bluegrass Heritage Foundation, so give him a round of applause. That's what it's all about, folks, and we thank you for helping us to make that happen, and uh, 
We appreciate it. We love you, and we want to hear more from this man. We expect him to be up here very, very shortly, so he will. I don't think he's going to disappoint. One more round of applause, Mr. Riley Gilbert. <laughs>